I ask our future generation, these young kids, who this was, what y'all say? Who you say that is? God. Who you say it is, little Mike? Jesus. One said God and one said Jesus. Can y'all see that picture from over there, sister? What color is that man right there? It's a white man. That's right. So this is a major problem we got. That our young black kids think that God and they think that Jesus is a white man. That's right. Bring it out. Oh, that's the problem. So this is very serious. Because what our people do not realize is that this is the building of a nation. I'm more foolish with anybody that has revolution on their mind. Um, the work of the most I go keep on going. You just gonna find yourself running behind it. We're not a racist organization because we understand that racism is an excuse used for capitalism. They don't realize that the most High is literally building a nation. Everything would be all right if everything was put back in the hands of the people. And we're gonna have to put it back in the hands of the people. And building a nation is gonna take some pain. It's gonna be some struggle because your hands are still baptized in Babylon. So this is the mental surgery. You need that surgery. But when you get up off that operating table, you'll be a little better. And that's why, but the surgery hurts in the process. Get in on that. Yes, sir. Keep reading. How you doing, brother? How you know your nationality according to the Bible? What's your nationality? It ain't black. It ain't black. All right, look on this side over here. Let me show y'all something. Let me show you something right quick. That what we come out and do right here over here on this side right here, bro. Look on this side and find yourself, man. This the greatest knowledge on earth. All right, you see on here on this side you gonna see what God called us. On this side you gonna see what the white man called you after he cuckered you, put chains around your neck, your feet, and on your brain, and then he called you this. Huh? What is your daddy? Give me uh numbers. Hold it down. Your daddy black. Let me show you what the Bible say. Watch this right here. Don't worry about what your mother is, okay? All right, watch this. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Uh -huh. And they declared their pedigrees. You know what the pedigree is? The pedigree is like your generations. All right, your bloodline. Listen. Hey, come on, here, bro. Let me show you something. All right? You don't want to know? See, a community ain't gonna never change because our people been willing to lynch. Right. The old man don't want to hear a young nigga tell him nothing. Well, come to all of me, you should have a library at 1.30. At one thirty. All right, hold on. Oh, we, with them. Yeah, okay, we're gonna, we gonna talk. Hold on. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their father. By the house of what? Their fathers. Their fathers. Give me Job 8 and 8. Right so that's what your father is because the male, we carry the seed, okay? So whatever your father is, that's what you are. That's if your right. daddy white, you white. If your daddy are Arab, you are Arab. That's right. If your daddy Chinese, you are Chinese. But if your daddy is black, you black. That's right. It don't matter what the color your skin look like. If your daddy black, you black. That's right. Watch this. The book of Job, chapter 8 and verse 8. For a choir, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. So you gotta prepare your with 32 and 8 right quick. Bring it out. See man, we know this Bible, we, we teach this Bible. So I'm gonna show you who you are. You gotta prepare yourself for the search of who your fathers are. That's okay? right. Now watch this. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam. Okay, go to 7, my bad. Verse 7. And how you prepare yourself for the day, for your uh, the search of your fathers, you got to do this. Listen. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 7. Remember the days of old. First thing, you got to remember the days of old, young man. We can't forget about how we got here. We can't forget about our ancestors. It's not being taught. They tell you, oh, forget about slavery. Oh, they teaching hatred over there. Right. But they'll tell you to remember 9-11, though. Right. They have you celebrate Thanksgiving every year, the slaughter of the Native American Indians. They tell you to remember your birthday every year. That's right. They right. tell you to remember everything but what pertains to you. Right. Bring it out. says, do what, bro? Remember the days of old. Uh -huh. Consider the years of many generations. So you got to consider the years of many generations, all the way from... Back then, all the way to 2018, you got to consider what's done happen. Read. Ask thy father. You got to ask, bro. You got to ask somebody, who are you? Ask your father, who is he? Read. And he will show thee. And he going to show thee. We're going to show you in the Bible right now who you are. 
So your dad, a so-called African American, mm -mm. what is it? My dad's not African American either. What is it? My daddy is mixed with a bunch of stuff like my mama is. Like you don't know what your you don't know what your yeah, yo dad is. What your dad? What your my, granddaddy is? My great granddaddy came from this white man who had slept with his own help, and then he kept doing it. On your daddy's side? On my daddy's side, exactly. Okay. Side so you saying your daddy is white? All right. No, I'm so. He's mixed. He's, he's mixed. Black. So what I'm telling you is no such thing as being mixed. That's right. right? That's right. You are what your father is. That's right. Okay? You get what I'm telling you? So if your daddy, your granddaddy was a black man, you a black man. Because the man carries the seed. That's you understand right. that? Alright? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 again. Bring it up. Alright? Alright? Now y'all get what the brother see he was talking about. Uh, what is that? What all right, how you doing, brother? All right, man. What we out here doing? We showing our people who we are according to the Bible. What's your nationality? I'm a Black American. Yeah, see, that's what we was taught in slavery. Mm -hmm. See, Black America, black is just a color of my pants. You're not the color of my pants. You actually not black. Hold on, let me speak, and I'm gonna let you speak. I promise. All right, you're not American. America come from a white man named America Vespucci. That's right. right. He was an Italian map maker. He conquered this land with uh, 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 uh So you can't be black American. That don't make no sense. Right. So we out here to give you who you really are. So you can be a king again. That's right. right. Where, where is your church? Where is our church? All right. We are the church. Get somebody's number. You can see what we call it. Uh, uh, congregate at. Which one? 15. Yeah, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15 again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. The Bible said, but it shall come to pass, meaning this going to happen. How y'all kids doing? Y'all come over here for a minute. Y'all come here for a minute. Let me show y'all something. 18 and 20, yeah. Cause we see we can't teach the old man nothing. The old man drunk, high as hell, he don't want no nothing. Nigga can't teach me nothing. Nigga, I've been here since 1957. Right. And that's the problem in the community. The black man won't sit long enough. His attention span is shorter than the kids. Right. How y'all doing? Right. Let me ask y'all something. Who is this right here on this picture? Let me show y'all some real stuff. All right? Yeah. Who, who is this right here? Yeah. All right? Who you say it is? Uh, What's your name, first of all? What's your name? What's your name? Little Mike. Little Mike. What's your name? Quayon. Quayon. What's your name? Chris. Chris. Kanitris. All right, so I'm going to try to remember y'all names. I doubt it. I might remember Lil Mike and Kanitris. Chris, all right? So check this out. Hold that picture. I want to show the black people something across over there on the street right there. I asked our young black future right here, because this is what they are. They are a young black future. I asked them who this man right here is on this picture. Hold this up. I'm going to show y'all the problem in the community. I asked them. I asked Chris, Lil Mike, and connect. I said, who is this? You know, I know what they said. You come over here to the sisters. You've been listening for a while. Come here. Yeah, you. We out here for the young kids, man. That's right. Y'all feel free to come over. I want to show y'all the problem. Y'all wonder why drugs and gang banging in the community. This is our future generation, right? And I ask our future generation, Mala. Watch this. Sit them over here, Mala. I asked our future generation, these young kids, who this was, what y'all say? Who you say that is? God. Who you say it is, little Mike? Jesus. One said God and one said Jesus. Can y'all see that picture from over there, sister? What color is that man right there? It's a white man. That's right. So this is a major problem we got. That our young black kids think that God and they think that Jesus is a white man. That's right. Bring it out. Oh, that's the problem. We don't see Jesus and we don't see God in one another. That's right. All right? Look, Chris, look, Mike. I'm going to show y'all what Jesus looks like. What's your name, sister? Sonia. Stood like. Man, you already know. That's right out. So, I want you to say this now. I'm going to let y'all know right now. That ain't God. That ain't Jesus. That's right. And his feet what? Say everything you just said again. Watch this. His head is wood. He said his, hair, his head is wool, right? His eyes is uh, fire. His eyes like fire. This young man know what Jesus looked like. That's right. His foot is brown. And his foot brown. Right. So let me ask you, what's your name again, bro? 
Oh, Quite young. Quite young. Let me ask you something. You said this was God and Jesus, right? Is his eyes red? Is his feet brown? No. Is his hair like wool? No. So that ain't Jesus. I know he's God. Watch this. Let me show y'all something. It's right there. Neither one of them is God. All right? <laughs> We're going to read to y'all what God looks like. Hold the other one up. This is very important, man. Y'all cannot complain about the crime in the community, the drugs in the community, the gangs in the community, and y'all not teaching them what their Lord and Savior look like. Yeah. Bring it out! Read it again. Hold both of them up. Yeah, look Hold both of them up. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Y'all know we read out of right here? That's the Bible. So if you want to know what Jesus looked like and God looked like, you got to go to what? Bible. All right, watch this. Let me show y'all something. We're going to play a game, all right? Y'all like to play games? Yeah. All right, we're going to play a game called, we're going to call it strikes, all right? We're going to call it three strikes, all right? I'm going to read what Jesus looked like, and y'all point to the one that y'all, the Bible say he is, all right? Listen. What they doing to him? I'm going to show it to you. Hold on. Let's get one thing at a time. What's your name? Quavion? Quayon. Quayon. All right. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. All right? He's going to tell you what he looked like. All right? Pay attention, Quayon. Pay attention. Little Mike. Chris. And Slanaya. I'm getting it. All right, come on. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Okay, point to the picture that got seven candlesticks. They, they holding it up. All right, it got seven candlesticks. Let's strike one. Point to the picture that don't got no candlesticks. All right, so it was in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Read. One like unto the Son of Man. All right, talking about Christ. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Uh. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Uh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hairs was what? White, white like wool. Like what? Wool. Like what? Wool. Like what? Wool. Point to the one that got her like wool. Who That's what? right. All right, what animal got her like wool? A sheep. That's right. Now who else got her like wool? Like who? Who you say? Jesus and who you say? God and who else? Guess who else? Feel the top of your head, Quayon. Stanaya, feel your head. Little Mike, feel the top of your head. Feel your head. So read that again, verse 14. Listen. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So his head and his hairs were white like wool. His hair was white because he was older and he had wisdom. And his hair turned gray. So Jesus Christ got what kind of hair? Point to the one that got wool hair. All right, so that's strike two. If that ain't Jesus right there, who you thought was Jesus, okay? Bring it out. Read. As white as snow. Which one got white hair like snow? Okay, so Jesus hair is woolly and white like snow. So that's strike three. All right, that, that ain't Jesus. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. What Quayon say his eyes was like what? Fire. A flame of fire. What color is fire, Mike? Red. Little Mike, what color fire? Red. So Jesus Christ's eyes was red, right? Point to the one with red eyes, denial. All right. So that's strike four that the white boy ain't Jesus. That's Listen. Right. That's right. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet was like fine brass. Who know what color brass is? Brass. Brass. Green. But, no. What you say, Stanaya? Kind of brownish. So his feet was brown. Yeah, nice. All right? Like a, black, like a trumpet, a saxophone. It was like a penny. All right? It was brass, but what? As if they burned in a furnace. But if you take that brass and burn it in a furnace, what color does it come out? Black. Black. Say it again, little Mike. Black. Say it again. Black. Say it together. Black. That's right. So Jesus Christ. That's what? right. So Jesus Christ, what color? Black. 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 All right. Black. So we know Jesus is black. So you know who who is this now? I'm gonna ask y'all again. Who is that? No, you gotta erase that out your mind. Point to Jesus. One of y'all point to the real Jesus. 
Alright? He look like you. Alright? Point to them. Huh? You got a question? Read it. I say it out loud. Say it again. Um, I probably would think that none of these were um Jesus because they they are all different colors. And um, Bible said that Jesus is black and has hair. That's right. That's right. And the sister said the sister got more sense than grown folks over here. I'm gonna tell y'all right. I'm gonna tell y'all straight. The sister said she could tell that this ain't Jesus because it's so many different pictures of Jesus. This one man, this another man, this another man, this another man. Ain't none of them. The Bible say he a black man, so none of these can be Jesus. So, you got a question too? What you got? In the yellow. In the yellow? What do you mean? Right here? You see about right here what they say? Alright. It says, in the volume one celebrated crimes, uh, Alexandra Dumas states that some pictures of Jesus Christ produced around Borgia's lifetime were based on Caesar Borgia. Cause this white man name, this is a real man who walked, his name is Caesar Borgia. That's not Jesus. That's a real white man who walked the earth. Okay? All right? So, we're not gonna worry about this white man. All right? Put the white man down. Put him face down so they don't even look at him no more. Your Lord and Savior is a black man. That's right. Okay? That's not Jesus. Okay? Point to Jesus. Y'all say why it matters. Give me Deuteronomy. I mean, uh, give me Ma uh, Matthew. John 8.32. Hey, the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 11. Verse 4. Verse 4. Hold on. Hold your finger now. Give me John 8 and 32 right quick. It's important that y'all know what color Jesus is. Alright. What color Jesus, little sister? What's your name? Janiah. Janiah? Brown. Okay, Jesus is brown. What are we showing y'all, okay? That Jesus Christ ain't a white man. That's the greatest right. man that walked the earth looked like you. That's, That's right. right. We're not being taught that. That's why we grow up to be in gangs. That's why you grow up to be in uh, uh, selling drugs to one another because we think that our Lord and Savior is the white man. And that's why he bring food to you over here and stuff like that. All right? He's not your Lord and he's not your Savior. That's right. The Bible says that your Lord and Savior had hair like wool, his eyes were the red and fire, and his skin was like grass but in the furnace. That's describing a black man. That's right. All right? So read that. The book of St. John, chapter 8 and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So the Bible said this time for y'all young, young, uh, young children to know the truth. Alright? And the truth shall do what? Make you free. And the truth is what's going to make you free. Alright? So knowing the color of Jesus Christ is going to set you free mentally in your mind. That's right. Give me John 7 and 38 while you in John. Bring it out. Why is it important? Hold on. All right, listen. The book of John, chapter 7 and verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said. So you got to believe on Jesus as the scripture said. The, uh, the scripture said he what color? Black. There you go. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So out of y'all belly is going to flow life. Rivers of living water. Just by knowing that right there. It said, ye should know the truth. What's the truth? Give me Psalms 119 and verse 142. This one's going to set y'all free. Y'all the leaders in this community. They finna turn these projects down. All praises to God. Okay? We can't glorify this lifestyle. You a king on earth. You weren't made to be living on tight, stacked on top of one another like this. Alright? So don't glorify this. Read. What you got? The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 142. The Bible, the Bible said, ye should know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Now, let's see what the truth is that you got to know that's going to make you free. Listen. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. God said that his righteousness is everlasting. Read. And thy law. And thy what? Thy law. What does it say, little Mike? You ain't paying attention. What does it say? Thy law. What does it say, Quayon? Thy law. What does it say, Stanaya? Thy law. Thy law. What? 
is the truth. Now, the laws of God is the truth, okay? So the truth gonna make you free. Now we finna read some laws, okay? Give me Ephesians 6 and 1. Bring it up, bring it up. All right, now we finna read some laws. What's up, gang gang? So this was gonna make you free. This was gonna make your community better. You gotta do what God say and not what man say. So you gotta get a Bible, okay? Listen. The book of Ephesians chapter six and verse one. Children, obey your parents. Now do what you wanna do, little Mike. What you gonna do? What the Bible just say? Oh, little Mike is listening, but he, he turned the other way. The Bible say do what? Obey your, Obey your parents. Obey your parents. Right. So that's what's going to make you free. Read it again. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. It said you need to obey your parents in the Lord. Meaning that you got some parents out here that have their kids in the store stealing, have their kids on drugs. It said obey your parents in the Lord. Meaning you do what's good. All right? Don't do nothing bad. Read. For this is right. For this is what? For this is right. So this right here was right, Crayon. Listen, this one's gonna make you free. You the one gonna change the community, Crayon. Uh, Crayon and Stanaya and Lil Mike and what's your name again? Chris. What's your name? Janaya. What's your name? Crayana. Crayana. All right. So you y'all gonna be the ones to change the community because the older people older than y'all are destroyed. They put crack cocaine in our community, heroin in our community, gangs in our community, and destroy the older people. So y'all are going to be the ones that have to change it, okay? And God say, first thing you must do is what? Read it again. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. You got to obey your parents in the Lord, first of all, okay? Listen. For this is right. For this is right, okay? Listen. Honor thy father and thy mother. You got to learn how to honor your father and mother. Mother, what's some ways that you honor your father and mother? What are some ways that you honor your father and mother? You help them? What else? Huh? I ain't hear you. Say it again. Have good grades. And what? Stand out of trouble. And staying out of trouble. Those are ways that you honor your father and your mother. Listen. Which is the first commandment with promise, uh -huh. that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long uh -huh. on the earth. That you might do what? Live long on the earth. Did you understand that, Quayon? Don't you want to live a long time, or you want to die? No. You don't want to die, do you? But so you got to honor your father and mother that you may live long on earth. Give me Proverbs chapter 4. I want y'all to understand the Bible is not playing with the older people, and guess what? The Bible is not playing with you all neither. Y'all yep. just look like kids, but I know y'all grown. That's right. Not grown, grown, but y'all advanced. They got technology and everything. Guess I hear y'all advanced. You might look like you might be eight or nine years old, but guess what? You advanced. How we know you advanced? You had grown because you out here running the street by yourself. With no parent around. Alright? So I want y'all to understand this, what the Bible said. Give me uh, Proverbs 4 and verse, start at verse 10. The book of Proverbs, chapter 4 and verse 10. Quayon, about God talking to you. Listen. Hear, O oh my son. It said, Hear, O oh my son. God calling you his son, little Chris, little Mike. Alright? He said, Hear, my son. Huh? We his dad. You his daddy. Who is that? Like yeah. My yeah, so God talking to you. He said, hear his words. Listen. And receive my saying. You need to receive God's saying right now. All right? Listen. And the years of thy life shall be many. And the years of your life will be many. Meaning you won't die. It's a little chill. You know, little kids getting killed out here, don't it? Y'all know little babies that got shot over here and stuff on the porch. Y'all don't know all, all type of stuff happen. God will judge children just like he judged grown people. But you gotta hear God's words. Give me one second tonight. Listen. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. So God has taught us in the way of wisdom. Understand that. All right? Read. I have led thee in the right paths. Uh -huh. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straight. Uh -huh. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Uh -huh. Take fast hold of instruction. Who know how to follow instructions? Who know how to follow instructions? You know how to follow instructions? 
Okay, so God said take fast hold of instructions. So whatever God tell you to do, you got to learn to do it. This is some of the stuff he's telling you to do. Listen. And let her not go. Uh -huh. Keep her, for she is thy life. And it says keep her talking about the Bible. Keep wisdom. Because this wisdom, this Bible is your life. Listen. Enter not into the path of the wicked. Y'all smart, I know. Who can explain that right there? When it says enter not in the path of the wicked. What it means, Denaya? Man, she said, I told these kids smart. It said, she said it means not to go and do think bad things that you're not supposed to do. It says, enter not in the path of the wicked. That's the instructions God giving you. Listen. And go not in the way of evil men. It said, don't go in the way of what? Evil men. Name me some evil men, y'all know. Huh? <laughs> Say it again. Satan. Satan. Name me some evil men, y'all know that y'all know wrong. Name me some evil men. What? What? People who be murdering people. People that be what? Murdering people? That's evil. Who be murdering people? Call them out. Start with a G. G? Good. All right. No. Gang members. Right. Gang members murder people. That's right. Listen what God's saying about gang members. Listen. Go not in the way of evil men. It said don't go in the way of an evil man. So, if you know that Quayon is finna join the Bloods, don't hang around him no more. If you know he finna join the Vice Lords, don't hang around him no more. That's or the right. Crips, okay? Right. Anything like that. Or you just know he evil. He ain't gotta be in no game. If you just know he evil, it said what? Don't go in his way. Listen, now hold on Quayon, you need to hear this now. Read. Avoid it. You got to do what? Avoid it. What it mean, Quayon, to avoid it? Avoid it. To avoid something. Avoid, avoid it. Avoid it. Y'all don't let her answer all the questions. To avoid it means to go around it. Okay? Don't go by it. Avoid wicked men, okay? Gang members. They're going to try to put drugs in your uh, in your hand. Hey, go take this around there to your mama. Go take this a little uh little uh June bug around there. Bug. Yeah, you know June bug. Oh, oh, yeah, like yeah, they 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 tell you to go carry drugs and stuff. Stay away from Negroes like that. Listen. Pass not by it. Do what? Pass not by it. Don't even pass them. You know they selling drugs right here in this alley. Go around the other way. That's right. Read. Turn from it and pass away. For they sleep not. Because a lot of these Negroes sleep not. Read. Except they have done mischief. Except they have done some evil to our young children. Until they done molested a little girl or a little boy. Until they done put some dope in their hands, a gun in their hand. Only time they sleep. Read. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. All right. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.